Kick Vic attacking children? Yeah, this Simmons sounds like exactly what they would do. Roll it. Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Attacking children, trying to get to their parents, is a disgusting and hurtful tactic. You should not be doing this. No one should be doing this. Either side, no one should be doing it. If you're in the right, don't do it. Even if you're in the wrong, don't do it. It's a horrible and malicious thing to do. It makes you also look out to be a really horrible person. And again, it's kind of like a criminal act as well because you're attacking children who can't defend themselves. Anyway, this is coming from Go Shell Zen. And I've actually been following it through the night and through the this morning for myself as well. So I'm going to pop it up on the screen now. It seems Kick Vic is threatening that umbrella while trying to dox his close ones, including his daughter. They're claiming that he's a pedo because of a comic that he made and threatens him that they're going to call Child Protective Services. Kikovic is a criminal movement. We kind of discussed this uh, over the last couple of days. Where a lot of people who use either hashtag, I stand with Vic or Kikovic, a lot of them are not actually, in, they don't actually include themselves in what's going on. They only do it just so they can be hateful you know, spout nasty, nasty things and nasty, you know, it's just, they just use it just when they get attention. That's what they do. But we're going to look by here now. The first image is Mark Lombardi. What? You mean that umbrella guy, McGraw's self-insertion, Mary Sue pedo fantasy of him wearing Rorschach's outfit and an umbrella coat mask while hanging out with a five-year-old demon girl in a Lovecraft rip-off world isn't original? Hello there, Irony. Then the next one we got is by Raised by Wolves, who a lot of people is actually thinking that it's Shane Holmberg. I don't know that Umbrella Guy. I think a call to Child Protective Services to check up on Umbrella Girl may be in order. Then you got another one. No, they're just married. Lola has posted tons of pictures of their daughter on Twitter. Just Google Lo Lola meets and pull up the images and scroll. I assume the little girl on the Umbrella Guy's book is based on their daughter. Then you had someone else. It's wrong. I have it blocked because it threatened to dox me. And below it's got someone from Trek, Trek back. Oh sweet, are we doxing her? Because honestly, I want vindication that she's fat. That's all I want. It's very sad that these people are doing this. But let's go back to Mark Lombardi. Because this, uh, this man... He just seems to be really disgusting, and if this is the sort of thing he's posting online, it's kind. He is kind of an evil person because I also, but it's the way it's just there, you know. Oh, he's got a Mary Sue pedo fantasy, you know. It's like a demon girl, you know. Must be his daughter. It's like, it's like what? It's and when you got that with it, raised by wolves, I don't know. I think a call to child protective services to check up on her is in order. It's like, what are you doing? It's because a lot of people as well have also said that, uh, say, with that umbrella guy, his daughter is. Um, they do have him, you know, in the. He does have her in the live streams, and, you know, she's a lovely little girl, and she seems to be loved, and everything, you know, everything is perfect. But I've just been going through that umbrella guy's Twitter as well. So we've got this one here, say, because it's been going on for a long time. I think it's close to 20 hours or so now. So we got here, you know, again, it's one of his first ones. Fat Umbrella Guy. So the person that has been, one, stalking Lola's kids because she imagines they're mine. And two, trying her damnedest to unmask a kid because totally not shitty is Ren's real life buddy. It's coming from Ren from us. It's one of her actual real life friends. And she's the one who's saying a lot of this horrible stuff. So we got by here. That's not Ren's MO, honestly. 
there's not really any point trying to take down the Umbrella Guy's Indigo. This makes a lot more sense as the Umbrella Guy trying to create a lot of noise so he can capitalise on it. I promise you screenshots won't come out, but I agree, show us screenshots. Sounds like some shit your friend would do, she gets paid to attack others to draw attention. She doesn't get paid to attack others, friend. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you know to come back with, do your research. Her and others have been outed a while back in numerous articles. Which is very true. It actually came out that uh, Renfamous was being paid. She actually said it herself. That she, uh, you know, one of her jobs was to go on Twitter and to find things. And just to out people and make them angry. And then obviously this space cowgirl will come back with. I literally am friends with her in real life. She is not getting paid to be on Twitter. But then you got Renfamous who is acting... Very, uh, she's acting the victim at the moment as well, saying that she hasn't done anything, which kind of is true, she hasn't, but it's her people who follow her, and she's told them, if you want to do it, go ahead. It's, it's kind of disturbing that this has happened. It's, I really don't understand what's going up, you know, going on with all these. But you also got Dominique Sky. Dominique Sky, she ranted and raved about her child being thrown into the argument a couple of uh, weeks ago, which is true. I'm, I'm, I'm with her on that. You do not attack children. You do not attack the person or you know the one you're having a go at. You don't attack their children. That's wrong. It's absolutely disgusting. That is. But Dominique Sky thinks this is actually okay because it's not her child. Because it's someone else, she's fine with it. So you got this one by here, which, again, Shane Holmberg, I agree with him on this. Okay, this is effed up. CPS is no joke. As an uncle to a child who came from a CPS placement, I will say it is not something to play with. They have an important job to do. Also, people that bitch at each other on Twitter leave their children out of it. But then Dominic Sky came back with, Umbrella Girl is a fictional character in his comic. The top right is obviously not literal, since when do you believe they're bullshit shing but in my eyes with that there Dominique Sky has said it's okay to attack children as long as it's not hers it's absolutely disgusting you shouldn't even threaten to say you're going to do something about their kids that is a horrible thing to do I really don't understand it's why people go that way and why they go down that route of attacking children it is one of the most horriblest things you can do. A child is innocent. A child cannot look after itself or anything, you know, especially when they're around the five to six years of age. Well, anyone under the age of 15, in my eyes, it's... It's completely... I just can't understand what she's doing all this for. It's... Ah... <laughs> uh, I really don't understand why these people do it. It really makes you sick to your stomach as well. It's... The way they do it. You know, it's just not... My mind at the moment is just going round in circles. Because I'm trying to think of ways to explain this and... Well, you know, see how they are. But in a video I done a couple of days ago of that mindset. The way the kick fix side are. This is exactly what they're doing. This is what I said before. They're attacking children. They're doxing. They're doing fake swattings. They're doing fake copyright claims on YouTube. I should know I had a video taken down due to copyright claims by Pony Toast. But again, we sorted that out because we, we are both reasonable adults. We were emailing each other. We were talking and it was fine. So... Why can't everyone just be reasonable and talk to each other instead of going back and forth and trying to attack someone's children when that child is not even included in the argument? You know? It's Yellow Flash. Easy. Oh, he's done another one here. Hearing from someone disgusted with Renfamous that her and a few others were in a Google Hangout last night plotting to take down that Umbrella Guy's Indiegogo and purposely attack his child to get him heated. They believe that this would damage his Indiegogo and create refunds. This is the type of people 
who are literally on the kick-vick side. These people are supposed to be the victims of sexual assault and everything else. But what they're doing is the complete opposite. They are being horrible people. And if you were a victim, you wouldn't be acting like this. It's kind of sad because Monica Riel, Ron Toy and all these other people, even Joe Casada of Marvel, they support these people. So they, they, in fact, they kind of support people attacking children. They attack, you know, they believe in all this stuff. It's, when you look at it that way, you kind of lose respect for them. And, it, you know, it's... It's just a sad world that we live in, and this is what's happening, you know? Uh, I hear what, we're going to finish this by here, and uh, I'm going to try and get my head together and get a few more issues of what's going on, and we'll be back later on. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell for future updates, and we'll see you soon.